Hey everyone, this is Hijaz. So I hope you are going good with Visual Studio. So today I'm going to show you something very amazing, something I have never experienced before in Visual Studio. So now let's open Visual Studio. Okay. This is so awesome, so amazing. So just I've just referred many tutorials of doing this, uh, just uh, the codes, but it's really hard to find this stuff. So now I found it and I just want to share it with you. Let's open the browser which I have made in my first tutorial of making a web browser using Visual Studio. Okay. Now I've thought of this long before of just when you you we may be having your own program. So when you click a button in your program, there should be a particular sound it should produce. So it look a, look a bit awesome for the user. Now let's debug it. Okay. Now, when I click these buttons, I have a couple of buttons over here. When I click this, look at the sound. Okay, hear the sound. Okay, see. So that's that's awesome. I feel it's nice when we do that. So now let me show the coding of doing this. So I've just left out the back button just for you. Okay, now let's double click the double click the particular button which you need to be sounded. Okay now let's just leave this coding it's just something I've made for my browser okay now this is a code dim s path as string okay now press the enter dim my sound as media dot sound player just leave those green lines under that that is because you have not mentioned what s path and my sound is okay now let's mention those both just click the enter button two times okay now s path is equal to okay now listen carefully so here s path is a particular file which should be played when you click the particular button okay now let's show you so I have this is my file where the sound this is the sound okay that's the sound listen that's my sound so just right click the particular file which should be played when you click the button okay now and right click and go to properties okay and over here I hope you can find something in the location part the location just copy that and just click just put a quotation mark and paste that over there okay and now just put a slash over there now minimize it again and you can find the file name over here okay now before that I would like to request you to change the sound player into wave w a v that is the windows player so here you can see the name of the file okay now copy that and paste it after this sorry no quotation mark after this okay and just put a dot and type w a v and close the quotation okay now press enter and now for the my sound my sound is equal to new media dot sound player in bracket s path and and close the bracket okay now press enter and type my sound dot play and close it okay now okay now that's done so what you just have to change is only this one the file which the particular file which should be played okay now let's check it out okay now the coded button is this back button now let's click it that's perfect okay now if you want something when you type in here in the text box just double click the text box and type the same thing the same code okay 
and the same code I have done here but just change this so the file which I'm gonna insert is this one that is a bit like typing noise so let's go to properties and copy this I mean sorry that's already there now just copy this the button 16 that's only to be changed okay now put it as 16 okay and now let's check it out okay now in the text box see when I'm typing the noise occurs okay okay now that's it and thanks for watching this video so I hope it's helpful and I hope it feels a bit cool to be to do that so thanks for watching this video and uh, take care bye